boardwalk, which I usually will walk on, but I have uh, spikes on, I don't want to ruin them, so. Hey everyone, it's Silva and Matt, and we are doing a local trail today. It's about a three mile loop, and I'm planning to film my Hike 9 video. So in my last video, um, if you haven't already seen, I'll link that here. And I talked about my six backpacking trips I have planned for 2022, along with my Appalachian Trail return plan. So if you haven't already seen that, again, check that out. And uh, this video is about nine of the adventure day hike adventures I have planned for this year. I'm calling it Hike Nine. Uh, and again, I got that idea from my boss, Kendra. She's a knitter and she does this make nine uh, thing where they pick nine things they want to make and so this is nine places I want to hike and some of them will be probably most of them will be both of us and then there might be a few that's just me and there'll be lots of others in between probably but these are the ones that are definitely going to be done all right so in no particular order or level of difficulty um, most of these are moderate to hard there's a few easier ones but they're just ones we've really wanted to do and haven't had time all right so the first one that uh, i wanted to talk about is the mount shakora loop it's about an eight mile loop in new hampshire it's one we've wanted to do for a while now and just haven't gotten there for some reason so this year we're definitely getting to the mount shakora loop Another one that we're definitely doing is, or maybe I'm doing that one by myself, don't know yet, but Camel's Hump in Vermont. It's about a four and a half mile trail. So that one it looks amazing and I can't wait to do it. And another one on the list is Mount Eisenhower uh, on Crawford Path, also in New Hampshire. And that one is about, it's about nine and a half miles, I believe. 9.6 maybe. So. All right, so number four on my list is Arethusala Falls and Frankenstein Cliff. Uh, it's about a five mile loop in New Hampshire. I did this one before with my daughter, which I'll link here, um, but Matt's never done it. So it's one I think he'll really enjoy. Also one I think uh, that would be really cool to do in the spring uh, because of Arethusala Falls and the snow melt, there'd be, they would be just raging and it'd be beautiful. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, number five on the list, Mount Isolation, also in New Hampshire. This one is a pretty tough one. It's a 12 mile trail. So, and Mount Isolation is one of the 48, 4,000 footers. And, but the scenery looks so amazing. I just cannot wait to get out there. Next up on the list is uh, Little Bigelow uh, via the AT, and that is one I've wanted to do for a while as well. It's about a 12 mile hike, and I have done the Bigelows before, which I'll link here. I did them as an overnight backpacking trip, which was amazing, uh, but I didn't make it to Little Bigelow at that time. So that's on the plan for this year. Number seven is Cranberry Peak and Cranberry Pond via the Range Trail, and that is in Stratton, Maine, and that is uh, about eight miles. So it's an eight mile trail, and I'm looking forward to that one. There's also a really good place to get a Beyond Burger over by that way, so that'll be fun.
Number eight is the Zeeland Summit via the Zeeland Trail. Very original. And that is about 11 and a half miles. And that is also in New Hampshire. And last but not least, again in no particular order, is Mount Kineo in Rockwood, Maine. And it's about 3.4 mile hike. It's a moderate hike. The most exciting thing is it's got really pretty views and you have to take a ferry to get there. So that's pretty cool. And we've wanted to do it for, I don't know, years? Yeah, at least 34. <laughs> it's just one of those ones we haven't done and we are making it a plan to do it this year. All right, so those are the nine hikes we will definitely be doing this year. They're not the only ones we'll be doing because we hike every weekend, but those are nine that we'll definitely get in. Everybody, thanks so much for following along. Thanks for joining us on this little hike and more like nature walk, I guess, but I just wanna thank all my subscribers and everybody that watches. That's really encouraging. Thanks so much for all your positive comments. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. And we'll catch you in the next video.